Here we will see a very interesting and important question from the topic sequence and n series. Here question is find the sum of the series 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on up to n terms. Okay? So, for solving this question first of all we will try to find out nth term Tn. Okay? And that we can get by observing the pattern of this series. So, see here what will be the T n? This is first term. So, starting from 1 square. This is second term starting from 1 square, but there are two terms 1 square and 2 square. This is third term starting from 1 square, then 2 square, 3 square, 3 terms. So, naturally when we look at this pattern of the series, T n will also start from 1 square and total number of terms will be n terms. Okay? So, T n will be 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square. And we have already discussed a formula that sum of squares of natural number first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So, T n is here n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So, this is a formula for sum of squares of first n natural numbers. Now, we have to find the sum of the series. So, sum S sum will be equal to sigma T n okay? and sigma T n sigma will be applied over here also. So, before applying sigma, uh, we can simplify this uh, expression then it will be convenient here. So, this is equal to n whenever you multiply these two factors this is 2 n square plus 3 n plus 1 divided by 6 and multiplying with n here 2 n cube plus 3 n square plus n divided by 6 by 6. So, sigma T n is sigma of this much. So, we can write 1 by 6 outside this sigma notation. So, this is 2 n cube plus 3 n square plus n. We will apply sigma over this expression and this is equal to 1 by 6. This sigma will be distributed over all these terms. So, 1 by 6 here 2 into sigma n cube plus 3 into sigma n square plus sigma n. Correct? Now, we will use the formula for sigma n cube. We know sigma n cube is equal to how much? Sum of cubes of first n natural numbers n square into n plus 1 whole square divided by 4 and sigma n square uh, we have already used here. So, sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 2 and here sigma n sum of first n natural numbers. So, sigma n this is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay? So, now we will use this formula here. So, this is 1 by 6 2 into sigma n cube that is n square n plus 1 whole square divided by 4 plus next term is 3 into sigma n square. Sigma n square is uh, n into n plus 1 into uh, sorry you have to correct it. Sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6. So, this term is 3 sigma n square. Sigma n square means here n 
into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Next term is sigma n. Sigma n is n into n plus 1 by 2. So, this is n into n plus 1 divided by 2, correct? Now, we have to simplify it. Here, 2 will be cancelled out, 2 2s are 4, 3 will be cancelled out, 3 2s are 6. So, you can take this 1 by 2 common from each term. So, here 1 by 6 into half that is 1 by 12. And you see n into n plus 1 is common in numerators of each term. So, here we can take n into n plus 1 common. So, after taking n into n plus 1 and half common from here, we are getting here n into n plus 1. 1 and plus here we are getting 2 n plus 1 and here plus 1. So, this is 1 by 12 into n into n plus 1 and here multiply it n square and n plus 2 n is 3 n and plus 2. So, this is equal to 1 by 12 n n plus 1 and we can factorize it. Okay? Uh, this factor will be n plus 1 into n plus 2. Whenever we will split up the middle term, when we use the method of factorization for a quadratic expression. So, splitting the middle term, this 3 n can be written as 2 n plus 1 and after taking some, doing some process of factorization, you will get the factors n plus 1 and n plus 2 from here. Okay? So, finally, we are getting the answer required sum is equal to how much? This is 1 by 12, here n into n plus 1 whole square into n plus 2. So, this is the answer for sum of this series up to n terms. So, this is very interesting important question. Here you are supposed to remember all this formula, then you will be able to solve this question. Okay? So, this is the answer here. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will see some more problems in other videos from the same topic.